Tonight at 6, next month is National Donate Life Month. And for those in need of an organ donation, the time spent waiting is often counted in years. And one woman in Thomaston is in desperate need of a transplant, and the community is rallying around her to find a living donor. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo has a closer look. I don't think I could get through every day without my time out here. A porch swing in Thomaston seems as good a place as any to wait for someone to save your life. <laughs> I'm not a quitter. But the ride Lisa Bugnacki is on has taken its toll. IgA nephropathy. It damages the filters of the kidney. She needs a kidney transplant after learning the donation she got from her ex-husband didn't take. I've been in rejection all along. Lisa says with her medical background that her options for a match are limited. 5% of the population. Well, do you know roughly how many people in Connecticut are waiting for a kidney? There's actually 950 people. And the chief of transplant surgery at Hartford Hospital says the odds of getting a kidney from an altruistic stranger are slim. And we probably have people come in like that maybe um, seven or eight times a year. Less than half will actually be suitable. Yeah, you can sit wherever you like. Cue the corner diner, Rosie's. What would you like to drink? Where an order of food comes with a request on Lisa's behalf. Really, all we need is one person, just one beautiful person to do this. And much like her beloved swing, the relationship between Lisa and Rosie's is a bit of a back and forth. Lisa's dialysis treatments leave her too tired to cook. So I've been doing their deliveries. And ever since Rosie's servers noticed the growing number of deliveries headed to Lisa's address. I think they know what's going on because my portions are getting larger. <laughs> yes, yes, um, extra fries, maybe a piece of cake. There's no clear end to the pendulum swing of Lisa's illness, but the community's support for her is rock solid. They, they don't want to see you give up. It's touching. In Thomaston, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.